my dear students i will take up the chapter number 14 n and f hooks we know n stroke is written like this f or v is written like this these three strokes may be written in short form first let us take n Every rule has got two parts. The rule which applies in case of straight stroke, the rule which applies in case of curved stroke. In case of straight stroke, that is when P, B, T, D, C, J, K and G is there, if you write attach a small hook finally with the right motion that adds the sound of shun hook sorry n hook example to tone chain pain rain gain gain etc in case of curved stroke n is represented by attaching a small hook finally inside the curve example f i n e fine is n o k i d e f t a n g shine moon noon nine Ocean, etc. Next, F or V hook. In case of straight stroke, a small hook attached finally with the left motion adds the sound of F or V. For example, puff. buff cave gave rough etc etc there is no f for v hook after curved stroke so after curved stroke if f for v comes we have to write the consonant in full for example we compare this f i n e fine f i v e 5 fine you can add a hook 5 F is a curved stroke. There is no F or V after curved stroke short form. So you have to write V in full. In the same way, 9 and knife. Nine N N nook. You can use the N nook. Knife. When is a curved stroke, there is no short form for F or V. You have to write in full. In the same way, moon, move, moon, you can write M N O. Move, you have to write the consonant in full.
we know that we write initially our hook in right motion and f <coughs> n hook is also written with the right motion so when there is or hook in the beginning and n hook at the end both the hook should be struck in the same direction with the right motion as in train brain crane grain grain green grown etc in the same way initially your look is written with the left motion the for we hook is also written with the left motion so when there is l in the beginning and a for we at the end both the hook should be struck with the in the same direction as in b l u f f bluff cliff clove glow etc after f and v and after n if a vowel comes the hook cannot be used we have to write the consonant in full for example pen n is at the end there is no vowel after n you can write n hook but in case of penny after n there is e vowel you have to write the consonant in full in the same way f hook puff you can write f hook because there is no vowel after f but puffy after f there is vowel you have to write the consonant in full fun n hook you can use but funny after n there is vowel you cannot write the when n hook is added to l l is sometimes written upward and the final hook n is given here when l is written downwards the final hook is given here so ln is sometimes written upward and it is sometimes written downward example gallon here it is written upward l n hook fallen here l is written downward situation this is also when downward is written you have to write n hook here when upward is written n hook is written here so situation we write like this extenuation is n hook is written upward wherever possible we can use these hooks medially also wherever it gives good joining as in plenty medially you can use n hook agent j n hook and t punish p n hook ish defense d f hook n circle if a calson is used medially refer re f hook re graphic gar f hook k where it is inconvenient to write these hooks medially you have to write the consonant in full for example sudden sudden we write like this Now we have to write suddenly. If you add l, it becomes a circle. So you cannot write hook medially there. In that case, 
you have to write n in full. You should not use the short form. Painless. This is pain, but painless you cannot write hook. So you have to write n in full. Graphic, we can use medially hook, but in case of gravity, you have to write gr, v in full, and then t. Some words end with the final syllable nr, as in the words opener, joiner, keener, liner, etc. So normally, nr syllable is represented by writing R O K and N. Opener, joiner, keener, etc. But in case of upward stroke, the nr syllable is represented by adding a nook and downward or consonant in full. Example, run, runner, win, Winner, yawn, yawner, etc. You can use the enuk in phraseography to represent the words on, been, than. For example, carried, you add a nook, it becomes carried on. I have, you add a nook, I have been. Better, you add a nook, better than. Dare, you add a nook, it represents their own. A for V hook represents two words of or have. Example out and a hook out of which and a hook which have who gramala we had V hook who have. So to represent of and have, we can use the FRV hook in phrases. So this is the end of the chapter. Now, the grammar logs, the grammar logs in this chapter, B N hook, if you write on the line, it represents been. If you write J and hook on the line, it represents general or generally. If you write D and hook through the line, it represents within. Surplus D and hook. If you write on the line, it represents southern. Nar N and hook above the line represents northern. B F hook above the line represents behalf. D V hook above the line represents advantage. D V hook through the line represents difficult. You write these grammar logs each one page. At the same time, you write at least one line the grammar logs that have come in the previous chapter so that you can remember them. Next, you take exercise 51 at page 64 of the textbook. So as usual, I always stress, first read the shorthand outline, 
copy the shorthand outline and transcribe it. After that, you check up with the key that is given at the end. If you have made any mistake, you write that outline several times so that you will not repeat that mistake. Exercise 52. Open the key where it is given in shorthand. Read the shorthand outline. Copy the shorthand outline. Transcribe it. Compare it with the words that are given in exercise 52 at page 64. If you have made any mistake, write that outline several times so that it is not repeated again. Now, I will give dictation of exercise 53. Get ready for the dictation. Start. It may be difficult for you to follow the general principles upon which foreign business is carried on to stop. But if you are to win your way in a firm which does business with the northern and southern states of America, you will have to try to stop. No business man and above all no business man whose principal business is with foreigners can possibly leave this branch of economics from his training to stop. If he should refrain because of a general dislike of the science, he will surely suffer in the long run. The truth of this has been shown over and over again within my own circle and I speak for your advantage to stop. The principles may appear difficult to follow and if you imagine the task beyond you, it will prove so full stop. But be brave, face the plain truth and you will lighten the work and succeed as you will deserve to succeed. Next exercise 54. I will give the dictation. Get ready. Start. Local authorities as borough and urban councils generally derive their main revenue from the rates they levy. They may, of course, 
receive profits from any business carried on by them within the borough over and above all this they receive allowances from the state either men or women may appeal to the authorities and they very often do if they think they have been unfairly assessed but it will be difficult for them to obtain relief unless they are able to prove their case and satisfy the authorities as to a supposed overcharge